Ciao, everyone. We're back in Rome, and I'm Father Reed. We're standing inside of one of the major basilicas in Rome, founded in the fourth century. The Basilica di Santa Maria Maggiore, St. Mary Major, is one of the five great ancient basilicas of Rome. Its 18th century exterior conceals one of the best preserved Byzantine interiors in the city. The name Santa Maria Maggiore, St. Mary Major, is a reference to the fact that this basilica is the largest of the 26 churches in Rome dedicated to the Virgin Mary. Santa Maria Maggiore actually stands on the site here of an ancient Roman temple. It's said that the first church built here by Pope Liberius was built on the site of an apparition of the Blessed Mother as well. The Virgin Mary appeared to the Pope on August 4th, 352, instructing him to build a church right here on the Esquiline Hill. That night, the floor plan was actually outlined by a miraculous August snowfall during the hottest month of the year. Santa Maria Maggiore was fully restored and renovated in the 18th century. The facade and most of the interior decorations date from that period. The medieval bell tower is the highest in Rome at 240 feet. The interior of the basilica preserves its majestic early Christian form, which was standard in Rome in the fifth century. A tall, wide nave with wide side aisles and a round apse. The Athenian marble columns that support the nave are the oldest parts of this church. The floor of the church is paved, as you can see, in mosaic, the ceiling in gold. And the high altar of this patriarchal basilica is a papal altar. It's traditional for the Pope to celebrate Mass here on the Feast of the Assumption of Mary every August 15th. Beneath the altar is a confessio with the kneeling statue of Pope Pius IX. And under this, St. Jerome, doctor of the church and author of the Latin translation of the Bible, is buried in the Bethlehem crypt. The crypt is actually built to resemble the cave of the Nativity in Bethlehem. In the right transept, it's the Sistine Chapel, containing the elaborate tomb of Pope Sixtus, and then across the way, the Pauline Chapel is home to the famous icon of the Virgin Mary known as Salus Populi Romani, the health of the Roman people. The name derives from a miracle in which devotion to the icon helped save the people of this city from a terrible plague. Legend claims that it was painted from life by St. Luke the Evangelist, but most scholars date it to the 13th century. Ah, wonderful, inspiring Christian Rome. And what a marvelous place of worship, place of faith. This, the Basilica of St. Mary Major. For now, ciao everyone. Ci vediamo presto.